Midterms are right around the corner. Ah, uh, I got too excited for the festival and didn't study at all. Girl, we so wise, though. I'll have to study at... Huh? Where's my history textbook? It's not on my desk. Oh, I was reading it in the library during lunch, so maybe it's still there. I'll go look. I hope uh, Nagaki's not still mad at me. Sir! Welcome back, Chan. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door's still open? Um, somebody brought the key to the staff room a few minutes ago, so I think it's locked now. I'll go there first, then. Thank you, sir. I was sitting over there? Here it is. Yay! Oh. Somebody's written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Well, that's funny, but don't write on people's books. Don't leave books lying around with their pages to the four winds. Nageki? What? Why are you so surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? The door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was? I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then it's all right. Maybe? Jeez, you're supposed to make sure there's nobody left inside before you lock the door. I don't think he's here. I don't think he's real. <laughs> We're either hallucinating about this poor boy or he's dead. <laughs> anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should save. Because I don't know what's coming. Can we try to take him home and see if he'll leave this library? I'm worried about this poor boy. Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. No, thank you. He, he didn't even pause to think about it. Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Mm. Don't jump to... If I could, I'd... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door, so just leave the key there. He's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. He won't leave. He jumped off that window. And now he can't leave. Ah! Ah! <laughs> My grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. We're doing great! And so I sat studying in the library while one by one the other students filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you sat down next to me, Nageki. Hmm. I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No! Talk away. I was... shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Chan. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why... this is the only place for me. That's... that's terrible! Nageki, that's awful! Which class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher. I'm not done talking yet. Sorry. Go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're... not? I don't think so, no. Being bullied... might be better than this. Better than this? Then what is he... I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I... remember things sometimes. But it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Chan, I think I... I think I'm... Chan? You're here late! Sir, please tell me you can see Nageki. Sir! The school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not a... Huh? 
Nageki's gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? I mean, it's possible that he's like a very quiet ninja and did that and he's not a, a ghost bird, but got a bad feeling. Got a bad feeling I'm falling in love with a dead ghost bird. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. John! Sir! Excuse me. You rank top of the year this time. Well done! Wha- What? She beat you by two points, Shirogani. Oh well. Grrr. Sakuya's glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic, indeed. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! Closing time already. I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard? I'd be risking my life. Oh no. And you're still here? Nageki! A book under his arm, the same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll have to wait until it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way? What are you reading? Dickens, A Christmas Carol. How appropriate for the time of year. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished. Yup. I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it, even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It would be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. And so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. Just hanging out in the library with a ghost boy. The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's not raining today. First day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. Hooray! It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. You would need a lot. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. I forgot about his freaking outfit. Kawaii. Huh? Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Uh, oh. It looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Fulfillment and Conquest. Uh, school, I guess. Here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yup, the first one's always busy. Oh well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Kawaii. Maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. 
Oh, hello, John. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which should I take? This one. Silky Blessing. Wonder what that means. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, John. Thank you, sir. I don't think I've even seen a bird like that yet. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up. Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Right. Third turn! It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee! Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... what my notes tell me to. Which is country millet. Didn't I get that for Nanaki before? I think I did. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Let's hope this works. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Oh, Mr. Nagaki. Almost empty as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. It's always cold here because there's a ghost haunting the place. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be as far from it as possible. There you are, Nageki! Sitting in a frigid corner, far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Phew, it's cold here. Are you okay, Nageki? I am fine. Don't mind me, Miss Chan. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's legumentines, you know. Here, foxtail millet. For me? Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes, thank you. He looks happier than usual. Or is it my imagination? I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Hmm. Interesting. Both him and Nanaki, um, it was like a nostalgic seed for, um, uh, nostalgic beans for them. Thank you, Miss Chan. You're welcome, Nageki. Hmm. Hmm. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, uh, sorting all of these takes forever. I think I just had the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um. <laughs> Miss Chan, be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. <laughs> I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about continue our conversation, I'm hoping? Nageki, are you here? Nageki? V er. Nageki! Ver-er? 
Hello, Miss Chan. Ugh, you startled me. How long have you been standing there? Oh, that's what he's trying to say. From the very beginning. So what did you need? I want to... talk with you, Miss Chan. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. Ah. We were talking about... bullying, I think? Okay, I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm... Not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Chan. Hmm? Let's go outside. Really? What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? Mine? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library, and then... Runs forward, crashing into the air. He can't... He physically cannot leave. The library. Nageki, what? Uh, uh, God, that was terrifying. Thud. Uh. Huh? He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Chan. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because you're dead. <laughs> Is your dead an option? That's because you're quiet! No! He's dead. He's a ghost boy. He's a ghost bird boy. They can't see you, can they? Why can I see you, though? Oh, this music. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time has broken. So could he have been a freshman before I, e before I even was a freshman? Hmm. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. Okay. But then you came and talked to me. I had had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly... You wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. Huh? Oh, gosh. I can't believe I was actually right. No! Why? I killed myself in this room. And so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning meaningless meaninglessly, each day the same as the last. Alone. Forever. Is he fading in and out? Like, he's just, like... Are we bringing peace to his soul? What's happening? No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. Yeah, he's slowly getting more translucent. Oh no! It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Chan. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more for longer. Nageki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. 
I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back. Because of... You. I I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I... Changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about the school, I was probably trying to take back the time I... was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And... now it's over. I think the clock's hands... are going to stop soon. Nageki? His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've... we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss John. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No. No, don't say it. Nageki, I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss John. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you! You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret... Thank you. I love you. Ah, He was the only one to say he loved us! And then he disappeared! <laughs> No, Nagaki, no! Come back! Ah! Oh no! I feel like we killed him even though he was already dead. Us and our big mouth. He could have been there forever. Dreams end. Nagaki! Sweet little bird. What archive did you give us? As the tears streamed down my face. Um, which one's new? Is it 11? No, that was the last one. Oh, a journal entry this time. Probably from Nageki? I've been feeling better since that nosy girl showed up. I do not think I will find any answers like this, so perhaps it is time to close the curtains. I am fulfilled, just as I was back then. Back then? Back when? Why do you speak in riddles? Why do you break my heart? Speak in riddles, sweet Nageki. Ah, that was so sad, and he was the only one to say he loved us. Well, he's officially best boy at this point, I guess. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that for what it was. <laughs> it was so sad. But we're done with Hattiful Boyfriend now, and it's time to go back to Lucky Rabbit Reflex for another lady. This time, the other twin, Dis Martialar. So that should be interesting. <laughs> I hope I'll see you guys over there. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.